All right, so lesson 63 is on subtracting mixed numbers with regrouping part two. So I have five and one half minus one and two thirds. So what I need to do first is I need to find the common denominator. So I'm gonna rewrite these so they're stacked. Okay, so the common denominator of two and three would be six. So I'm going to change these fractions, so their fractions that equal 6, so 5 with something over 6, and 1 with a fraction over 6. Now, 3, or 2 times 3 is 6, so I'm going to times the top by 3 as well, get 3 6. And then 3 times 2 is 6, I'm going to multiply the top by 2 as well, and get 4. Now I have the problem that I cannot take 4 6 away from 3 6. So I need to borrow from the 5. 5 becomes a 4. And I need to add 6 6 to my current fraction. So 3 6 plus 6 6 is 9 6. So I'm going to erase that and fix it. 9 6. Now I can subtract. 9 6 minus 4 6 is 5 6. 4 minus 1 is 3. So my answer is 3 and 5 sixths. Here we've got another problem. 4 and 1 fourth minus 1 and, or 2 and 1 third. So again I need to find a common denominator. And that common denominator will be 12. So I'm going to get 4 with a fraction of 12. And 2 with a fraction of 12. 2 times, oh, put the wrong number in for that one, it's 4. 4 times 3 is 12, so I ended up with 4, so I need to times top by 3, 4 and 3 twelfths, 3 times 4 is 12, on the top, so I get 4 and 3 twelfths minus 2 and 4 twelfths, which again I can't do. So I'm going to borrow from the 4, 4 becomes a 3, I'm going to add 12 twelfths to my fraction, because 12 twelfths equals the 1 that I borrowed. 12 plus 3 is 15, so I'm going to erase that, change it to a 15, okay. 15 minus 4 is 11, so I end up with 11 twelfths. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So my answer is 1 and 11 twelfths. And that's all. Good luck with your homework.